long time coming. But we here now. I apologize for the delay. We're ready to review Battleship in this bitch. I see him coming, I see him go, still I remain One of the illest to ever step up in this game But now I see that some of y'all want a piece of me So it's time for me to step up from behind the scenes You can't test my work great, it's time to make way Imitate a space, step aside, it's time for payday What's going on people, it's your boy Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know, you already know Sorry about the last review, I know you guys liked it nonetheless But your boy wasn't firing on all cylinders, he was drugged up like a mofo But fuck all that we here now. Existing subscribers, I love you guys. New subscribers, welcome. But you done fucked up around here. Let me just break down how I'll be doing these reviews in this bitch. Three stages. Stage one, I talk a little bit about the movie. Spoiler free, where I will just give you a brief synopsis of this bitch and tell you what I thought about it. Part two, I'm gonna go balls deep. And when I mean balls deep, I mean balls deep. No rubber, no nothing. It's gonna get the transfer pregnant. I'll keep it real with you. No pullout game, because your boy has zero pullout game, because your boy just is all in with everything he does. Most comprehensive review of a transfer you've ever seen on YouTube. That's how your boy operating in this bitch. Part three, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this bitch. This was one of Peter Berg's first movies. Now, I know he directed Lone Survivor. I know he directed Deep War Horizon. And I know he directed Patriot's Day. All three of those movies were A1 movies. But here's the thing. He fucked up with Battleship. I think he was just trying to get to grips with what he was doing. There was a bunch of characters, none of which I cared about. Rihanna was in that bitch? I don't know why. This is taken from a game, but it's got nothing to do with the game other than the fact that you've got the alien armada and you've got the US Naval battleships in this bitch and they're gonna face off. That's pretty much it. It's got some cool shots, cool visuals, alien invasion, on the sea, see what the fuck happens. That's pretty much the story. There is obviously shit going on with the characters, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. I did not give two fucks about the characters. Didn't care whether they lived or died. Rihanna was in this bitch. We'll get to her later. So generally, I think the movie has some cool shots. It's eye candy for sure, let's not fuck around. This movie has great eye candy in it. It's got nice visual shots. And Peter Berg trying to be Michael Bay with, with the whole direction and shit. And there's only one Michael Bay. Love him or hate him, he knows how to shoot the action. But even then, it's a, it's, it's, it's got very nice scenes in it. Very nice shots. I like the alien stuff. I like the way the aliens looked. I like the battleship sequences. There was a sense of dread, but when you don't care about the characters, you ain't gonna care about the movie. And, and that's really how I felt about this. It's an okay movie. Leave your brain at the door. Have a few drinks. Enjoy that bitch. It's all right. What do you want me to say? Battleship, shot in 35 millimeter. Visual effects, rendered at 2K. Digital intermediate, 2K. Upscaled to 4K. DTSX Master Audio. Guys, this is a beautiful transfer in this bitch. I can't say much more about that. The clarity is A1. It's a definite, obvious, noticeable visual upgrade from the 1080p transfer. You're gonna notice close ups of the main actors in this bitch. You're gonna notice detail in Rihanna's fine ass when she's walking up and down. Rihanna, I'm gonna get to you in a sec, baby. The sea looks lovely. The detail on the ships and on the alien ships looks very nice, can't complain. Now the HDR does a very good job with the lights and the darks. There are some scenes which are, which are taking place at, at the, in a dark corridor or whatever where the action sequences, the fire, the fireballs and shit really stand out of the screen and they really burn through the screen. You feel like you're gonna get hit with one of these bitches. I'm gonna give it real with you. Had me ducking in all sorts. The color gradient is very subtle. The wider color space is very subtle because it doesn't deviate too much from the original transfer. This transfer itself, just more of the same. A little richer in parts than the original, but there's not much of a color difference in my opinion, apart from fireballs and all that other shit. The CGI looks very decent. I didn't see anything that stuck out like a sore thumb either. CGI looks great. And I think, especially with the fireballs, because of the HDR, it's it's so bright in this bitch that you don't even notice the CGI in this bitch. So good job on the CGI overall. The resolution coupled with uh, the color really helps with the depth of field. You notice layers on top of layers on top of layers, especially in the ocean where there's, there's quite a few shots of, of, of the naval ship, the naval battleship and the alien ship and it's panning around and you can really sense the depth of field. It's got a nice three-dimensional look to it. Fine details are noticeable, very noticeable. You wanna know who else looks great in 4K? Rihanna, you look lovely in 4K, you look beautiful. Those eyes, god damn, I'm looking at the screen trying to figure out the color. 
Are you brown? Is it green? I don't know, but I know I love them. I want to take your two eyeballs and kiss them. Yeah, that's not all, but that's a side point. Rihanna, you look beautiful in this, but I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm waiting on the Anti 2 album, yeah? I'm not waiting on your next movie project because this movie... I'm sorry, girl, but you a pretty face in this movie, that's all I can say. Your acting skills under par in this bitch, yeah? You ain't Beyonce. Beyonce can do it all. And she getting twins now. I don't even know what the fuck happened. She complained about her man cheating on her, then she got half her twins. I don't know what the fuck wrong with these women. But that's a side point. Rihanna, I love you, love your music, but I don't think the movie shit suits you. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Brass Pass, seal of approval of this bitch. It is an average movie at best. Like I said, you're not going to care about it. It is by far, though, the best looking version of this movie. You cannot go wrong on any scale. This is a beautiful transfer. Would it be in my top 10? No, but there are some very standout moments in this shit. If you wanted to show off your 4K, it has some really demo worthy moments in it. Definitely pick it up for that reason. Do not pay full price for this bitch, though, because it's Battleship and the movie sucks balls. Not in a good way. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's all I've got to say about this transfer. I'll leave it for you guys to decide, but full price, it ain't worth. But to show off your shit, it's worth that, bitch. Take care. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button if you did. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And your boy is going to catch up with you soon. I see him coming, I see him go, still I remain One of the illest to ever step up in this game But now I see that some of y'all want a piece of me So it's time for me to step up from behind the scenes You can't test my work great, it's time to make way if